All right, guys, we are here with Steve and Mar, and Steve, you just showered, so this is definitely the best you've smelt um, a- a- after one of one of the games. But a tough loss to Brazil, or not Brazil, Germany today, uh, to put Canada at one and three so far in, in the VNL. Uh, it's clear that this is not the result that, that you guys were expecting. F- great first set, then kind of the wheels fell off once they brought Tila in and made a few other changes. What, w- what happened out there today? You described it pretty well. Um, I think, yeah, like I'm going to echo what you said because I think that was a good description. We had a good plan going into the match and we obviously executed that really well and then made some changes and I don't think we made the necessary changes we need to make. Um, I didn't play very well, personally, so I'll start with that. Um, wasn't my best week, for sure. Um, and I think it's it's tough, like, Every team has a lot of good players, and, and our guys who were coming off the bench, they all did a great job, and I think, um, yeah, we're missing missing a little bit, maybe a little bit of that killer instinct, and, yeah. Was it, you know, it's three games and three nights, coming back after a long club season, it seemed like after the first set, it was just hard to get that motor going, hard to get the momentum going. Is there a little bit of fatigue after a week like this? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it in a way that, to makes a bit more sense to me. Uh, there's obviously fatigue, but that's not an excuse. They played three games in three days as well. They're not at home, like, it, that that's not a, that's a non-factor. Um, everybody's had long seasons. Everybody's nursing stuff, so that can't be a crutch for us. Um, and yeah, I, I just think at the end of the day, we just didn't change to how they were playing and. They took advantage of a couple of points where we didn't. So, yep. Is there an attitude change at all needed uh, while heading into the next week of week of training before week number two? Um, well, I definitely think there's some things that Thomas is asking us to do that we're doing, we're improving on, we're doing better. So I'm happy with that. Um, like, if you look at the amount of errors and blocks that I took in the past three fucking nights, like, that, that's just unacceptable. Uh, so, like, there needs to be an attitude change in terms of of valuing each ball because we're working so hard to play fucking defense, and then we're just kind of giving it away with with low quality second touches and and low quality decisions and spiking. Um, I think we're too predictable, myself included. I maybe I scored maybe one ball on the line. I don't even know if I scored one ball on the line. So, playing with half the court against a team with monsters like that is not going to be fucking. You're not going to win. So, yeah. There's a lot of areas that have been having going well, but offensively, things have have really been where things have sputtered. Uh, what's not connecting right now offensively? Um, I personally am not playing the ball that um, I, I'm not adjusting to what the situation is. And if if I'm brutally honest, like that's that's got to be like I, okay, I was playing a shoot ball this year, and uh, obviously I'm not there. So I, I, I got to just work with what, with what is best for the team, and I'm not doing that. So um, I'm going to have to kind of go through all the film and go through what I've been doing and, and see what's available and then make some better decisions. So people are giving me the advice I need. I just need to take it. Um, and beyond me, I can't really speak for myself. Uh, sorry, I can't really speak for others. So I think each person needs to do that and come back together with a game plan of how we're going to attack the next week. Is there a belief, still belief within the group that you know you, the, you guys can right the ship and and uh, pick up some wins in weeks two and three? Well, of course. I, like, I don't think at any time you can just pack it in. But I also like there was some good volleyball shown, and I don't think a lot of the time that um, like it sucks to lose. And I'm 15, 20 minutes after a loss that I'm particularly frustrated about, and I still feel like that's the way. And I I don't think anyone has any energy. Ne- negative energy otherwise so yeah that's good to hear hey Thank you. go go wrap it up go uh figure it out and let's get back after it next week uh next week in europe perfect sounds good Thanks. nice love buddy appreciate it